uh, the government. How do they feel about Chinese companies trying to raise money abroad right now? Well, a lot of the companies you're talking about right now are extremely unique companies. I mean, you have Xi'an, you have uh, Tamu, you have uh, TikTok Shop, Amerisports, and all of these companies are kind of unique in their own ways. So I think the market's very exciting right now to see some of these companies go. But I think the real question is going to be six months from now, are these companies going to be able to trade up? And I think that's going to be the key. Drew, as we look at uh, the companies coming to market, uh, Hong Kong used to be the capital of IPO. We have really fallen far from that, uh, even below India. We are, I think, ranked number eight. Uh, what's it going to take for the Hong Kong market to pick up some steam to really get some big IPOs back into the market here? Well, 2023 was a record year for China, a record year for Hong Kong. Not the kind of record you necessarily want to pop uh, champagne corks over, because as you mentioned, um, in 2019 and seven years before that, Hong Kong was the number one market destination for IPOs. In 2023, as you mentioned, they fell to eight. But I think the other side of the story is that Hong Kong, I believe, is just too important for China to ignore. There's a lot of wonderful things about China, about Hong Kong right now. Um, it has an incredibly deep talent pool, which my firm right now is, we're opening our office in Hong Kong later today. And that's something we want to tap into. And um, companies that want global explo exposure, um, I think this is the kind of market for them because Hong Kong is sort of this laboratory right now where China can experiment with opening their financial systems to the outside world. So you're opening your office here in Hong Kong today. Congratulations on that. I know that's probably what brought you here to the city. You're saying that China can't ignore Hong Kong, but what about investors? Because you know, you bring these companies, we're waiting for the likes of Alibaba to list six of its units, uh, its cloud business. It didn't come through. So what big names, if any, are you looking out for this year? Well, as I mentioned, you have a bunch of very exciting companies. We talked about Xi'an, we talked Tamu, you have TikTok Shop, you have Amerisports going right now. And each of these companies are extremely unique in their own way. Now, if you're a company right now and you have lots of cash, um, then you're probably sitting on the sidelines right now, waiting for valuations to improve and perhaps the geopolitical climate to improve. I know Amerisports, um, they went off today a little bit below. And I saw the chairman explain to it that it's a little bit of an overhang from China, their China business. Um, but I think these are very exciting companies. China is not a copycat society anymore. They're innovative tigers. And these companies are extremely unique. And 50% of the deals so far this year have been Chinese deals. So I think, as I said, if you're a company and you have a lot of cash and you have good cash flow, then you're probably sitting on the sidelines right now waiting for things to improve. If you need the cash, then you're going to go off right now. 